In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a public account. Creating a public account will allow you to view additional information and data layers on one network. There are many benefits of creating a public account on one network. Instead of just seeing Roadworks data for today and the next two weeks, you'll be able to see up to 12 months worth of data, and you can also choose a custom date range. Some of the other benefits is being able to see live traffic data, public transport including bus stops and train stations, and you also have the option to sign up to email alerts. Create an email alert to receive email updates of upcoming roadworks, road closures and other traffic disruptions. We've got an entire video dedicated to email alerts that you can watch. Creating a registered account also grants you access to the NSG. The National Street Gazetteer holds authoritative information for all the streets in England and Wales. To create a public account, you will need to open up your internet browser, I'm using Google Chrome, and in the website URL, type in one.network and hit enter. The page will load and it will take you to the One Network landing page. On the right hand side of the page, there is a sign in panel. If you do not have visibility of the sign in panel, click on the arrow and the panel will appear. Instead of signing in, we want to sign up. So in the bottom right hand corner, you will find a or sign up here button. Click on that button to be taken to the sign up page. OK, so now it's time to enter the required information onto the sign up page. So I'm going to enter my first name, my surname, my email address. My password. And then the organisation that I work at. The country will then automatically default to the country that you're in. And once you've completed all of those steps, you can then click on sign up. OK, so a new window will open and it will ask you to verify your email address. So open up your email and check that you've received the message. If you cannot see it, remember to check your junk folder or your spam folder as it might have been sent there by mistake. Or you can just click on the resend verification email to send the email again. What I'm going to do is just switch to my Outlook account and I can see that the email is there waiting for me. So the email is sent from no reply at one.network. So that's the email address you'll need to look out for. The subject line will be called account activation and then you'll receive a welcome message and it will just tell you that your One Network account has been created and to activate your account you need to click on the following link. So you just need to click on that activate button to activate your account. So the page is reloaded and it's telling me that my email address has been verified. You will also receive an email just letting you know that it's been verified and we're now able to sign in. So I'm just going to enter my email address in the required field and then my password. And then I'm going to click sign in and it will take me through to my One Network account. So that brings us to the end of the video. I do hope you found it useful. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us on support at one.network and we will get back to you as soon as possible with the answer to your question.